Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today I'm going to show you guys how to sync up your Arturia Microfreak with any of the Korg Volkas. Now this is a fairly simple process and basically just requires hooking up the sync jacks. We will have to uh, take a look at something in the menu on the Microfreak though. However, before we get started, I do want to note that neither of these devices have an audio in. So if you'd like to sync these up and use sounds on both of them, you will have to have some sort of external mixer, um, an audio interface. I've got each of them plugged into a different input on my Zoom H5, which is what I use to record all the audio for my videos. But you will need uh, two separate inputs for these. They do not feed into each other audio-wise. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to sync the Microfreak to, uh, this is my Volca keys, but this will work with any Volca. Now the way I'm going to be showing you how to sync these up is with the Microfreak as the master. And the reason being is that if you have the Volca as the master, it can get a little tricky on the Microfreak to dial it in. I've had some kind of glitchy issues uh, with the Microfreak using the clock in. Not to mention the Volca does not have a screen, so it's really hard to dial in the perfect tempo. Um, all you really have is a sync out port and that's about it, whereas the Microfreak gives you quite a few more options. Uh, thanks to that screen there, we can go to the sync menu and we can see there's quite a bit here compared to nothing on the Volca keys or any of the Volcas for that matter. So I highly recommend using the Microfreak as your master clock in this situation and that's what I'm going to show you today. Basically I've got two different sequences loaded up on the keys and the uh, Microfreak. So this is the sequence I have on the Microfreak. Super basic. And then this is the sequence I have loaded up on the Volca Keys. The more musically astute among you might recognize that when those are played together, they uh, have a nice little harmony. So that's our end goal, is to get those playing at the same tempo uh, with uh, hopefully little fuss. So the first thing that we want to do before we go ahead and connect our sync cable is we want to go into the menu here on our Microfreak. So we're going to press Utility, and then we're actually going to scroll down to Sync. Click in on that, and then we want to go to Source. Now for the Source, if you want your Microfreak to be the master, we need to have the Source set to Int, I-N-T, as in internal, as in the Microfreak is going to be the generator for the click signal. It is going to internally generate the sync signal and then send that out. So we want to make sure we have our source set to int. We're going to click save. There we go. Now we are ready to go. You don't really have to do anything with the uh, Volca keys. Now all you're going to need is just a 3.5 millimeter cable or an eighth inch. And we are simply going to plug this into the back of the Microfreak into the clock out jack. It doesn't say sync, it says clock out, because we're sending the clock out of the Microfreak. Now we're going to want to plug this into the sync in of our Korg Volca, just like that. Nice and simple. Tuck that out of the way. Now they are synced up. It's just as simple as that. If I press play on the Volca keys, it's not going to play anything because it's waiting for some kind of click signal from the Microfreak. So as soon as I press play on the sequencer of the Microfreak, it's going to send the click signal to the Volca keys and both synthesizers will play at the same time. Let's take a listen. And we can hear that they are both playing at the same tempo. Now what if we want to increase the tempo? Well that's pretty easy. Click in your uh, knob right here, this one, until it says tempo. And now we can simply adjust the BPM. Let's play both of these and listen. Just like that, we can see that they are now completely synced up, and when we change the tempo, 
on our Micro Freak, the tempo also changes on the Volca. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike, that's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.